that tone, it's a real money in the room. So, at, at some point, do you meet OG Percy and Ferguson? What years were you down there? Man, from 05, man, the middle of 05, summer of 05, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I didn't meet Percy right off the bat. I think Percy came in there like, I want to say around 0, the late 06, 07. But uh, first, I just heard him through, my, through one of my Rolling 60 partners uh, that was from Dallas, North Dallas. Shout out to Webb Chapel, man. Down there, my name Cali yeah, Yo. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Cali Yo, Cali Yo. You know, all these names are certified, you know what I'm saying? And uh, shout out to Cali Yo. Um, but yeah, bro, uh, rolling 60, man. And, you know, he was over there and he was talking about, yeah, man, they said there's some nigga here, woo, woo, woo. And you know me, bro, when niggas speak loud, so they don't give a fuck who's in their business or not. You know, because right. believe me, it ain't our job to get in their business, bro. You know what I'm saying? We mind our own business. But when you lie, then you ain't got no choice but to hear the shit. Right. You feel me? So, boom, that's the first time I just start hearing it. But really, you know, I'm in medium custody, close custody, trying to get, a walk, trying to get up out of here and make it up the hallway. So, you know, I didn't make it up till, till like three, four years later. And I land on G Block. And, you know, I don't what, wanna... what, What's G Block for those who may not? Okay, heard of so G-block. anybody that know, bro. Ferguson, we go by blocks. We don't go by pods. We don't go by tanks. Bro, it's B, and then it's a line, and it's B-L-K. G, line, B-L-K. It's all, it's blocks. We go by blocks. You know, some units, they go by sections. So you got a B block. You got A block, B block, C block, D block, all the way to K and L block. Right. You feel me? I and J. You know what I'm saying? So you yeah. fell in on G. I fell on G block, G and H. They they they're no different than goddamn those, those might as well just be population goddamn G5 and G4 where I came from, cause I came up in G block, and it was worse than where I just came from. Mm-hmm. And then you you ain't got time to think like that. You got to react. So shout out to big homie MJ man. You know that's my big homie man, Mexican J, Mexican pimp, fifth war hardy boy. You know what I'm saying? My ties, you know what I'm saying? And uh yeah, bro, this shit's deep, dog. It yeah. gets deep, bro. So it so 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 you see Percy on G Block or I, I met him on G Block, man. Okay, okay. Tell tell me about the interaction because you you're hearing about him yeah. from this Rolling 60. What what is he saying? And he's talking loud. Yeah, man, he just saying, man, they said there's some OG nigga that just got here to the unit, woo woo woo. And the other niggas was, you know, they were five deuces, you know what I'm saying? That's what he was, but you know, Capone was also on my block. If anybody know Capone, Capone had more status than Percy. You know what I'm saying? Capone come out of Cali, but he originated from Louisiana. Talking about big five deuce on his shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he was on my block too. You know what I'm saying? So, boom, he and they end up sacking him up though. You know what I'm saying? So, boom, I make it up the hallway and landed on G Block with all my homeboys. You know, they getting me on track with what's going on and making sure that I stay 10 toes and ears to the ground, you know what I'm saying? And then, boom, I don't meet him right there and then, you know what I'm saying? But one of his partners was my celly, you know what I'm saying? One of his partners was uh, 187. Now, I was told Mexicans couldn't have blacks as they sellies. Man, you know that's a saying? lie. That's a lie, bro. All my sellies were black, yeah. you hear me? And. Some of them I rocked out with, and some of them, shit, they ain't even stay long enough to get rocked out with, you feel me? Like, for real, bro, like, so, how me and Percy come in about, shout out to Peace Shoe, man, Blue Hands, anybody know, man, Port Arthur, Texas, man. King Shoe. Yeah, yeah. King Shoe, that's what they call it now, but well, if P-Shoe you know, like, like I know, it's Peace Shoe, Blue Hands, you know what I'm saying? And the same nigga that hit that concrete, and we know what that mean, you know what I'm saying? He always used to say, it was the king of that shit, you hear me? But yeah, bro, you know, <clears throat> King Shu, you know, he had a lot of love for us, man. He grew up with a lot of my homeboys that came before me that was still there, you know what I'm saying? And uh, man, yeah, I took my head to Shu, man. But uh, you know, but, but come to this partnership, they homeboy was my celly out of Dallas, man, out of Oak Cliff, man. You Crip, know what I'm saying? Crip. Yeah. was a Crip, man. And uh, man, he was dirty, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm just put it out there just like that, bro. And uh, 
No, no, this some real shit, bro. I don't oh, even say it. Bro, it ain't funny, bro. I'm not trying to be funny, bro. Yo. Like, I'm real dead serious, bro. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I told him once about himself, like, damn, baby, like, man, I fuck with you, dog. You know, you you know, you asked like, for a suit, my nigga, I give you a suit because you my seller. And I don't see your partners fucking with you like that, bro. So, you know, my nigga, I had a heart. That's one thing about me. That's I guess that's why I always been in God's favor, bro. You feel me? So I'm like, look, bro, you got to, this nigga would take a bird bath and clean the cell up with the water that he just rinsed off his body. Oh. Bro, I'm like, that's when I was like, oh, hell nah, nigga, you got me fucked up. Yeah. So I was thinking about stabbing him. So before I can do that, though, I got to think that I'm not by myself. Right. I got a lot of partners, bro. And if I move without letting them know, I could put my niggas in trouble, bro. Yeah, because if, if, if you if you would have taken upon yourself to hit a crip, now you got to deal with the crips. No, we ain't worried about them. I swear to God on my grandma, we weren't worried about them, for real. Like, we was about that shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we weren't worried about them. If I hit them, then we just deal with the consequences later, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Yeah. But see, me, I just so happen to be <clears throat> one of the ones that thought about that shit first. If I hit them, what, what's the reaction? And I wasn't worried about that. I was worried about my homies that I already started building my status up and they love me and they look up to me. So it's only fair that I let them know what's going on. So I'm like, look, bro. Now you I'm about to hit, run, bro, because he I'm musty. Finna, I'm, finna, I'm, finna, I'm finna run my celly because this bitch ass niggas musty, dog. Whole ass nigga just cleaned the house up with, with, with his bath water, my nigga. <laughs> You hear me? So, you know, my big homie MJ, he was like, say, bro, look, before you do all that, before you take it there, let me go holler at Percy and, and, and Pichu, Blue Hands, and we gonna, we, gonna, we gonna get it done. You recognize the magnitude of whatever's about to go down could cause, yeah. so before you make a move, uh -huh. you go back and, and you tell your people, hey, my celly is musty, and, and just the nasty <laughs> shit that he's doing, right. I'm finna pop him. <laughs> and then they like on some shit like, bro, look, cause I ain't gotta let the Crips know nothing. You feel me? Right. Like nigga, I, they don't speak for me, bro. You feel me? But my homeboys, I love them so much that I, I gotta let them know what I'm finna do. Right. You know what I'm saying? So they can be ready. So, okay, if it's something <clears throat> do happen like that, they're aware of it, you feel me? And anyways, man, so, I'm talking to my big homie and he's like, man, bro, we ain't even gotta go through all that. His people will take care of that. And I'm like, shit, how's that gonna happen? So he go walk over there and holler at up, but another homeboy gotta go cause we can never do nothing by one. We gotta do it by two because he can be over there trying to sell us out on some scary shit. So yeah, we smart, we think like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, my another homeboy's gotta be there to witness him actually saying what he's gonna say. So he lays it down to them, look, man, my homeboy finna run your homeboy, man, but we this can be avoided, man. And y'all go talk to your boy, you know what I'm saying? Go talk to your homie, let him know what's going on, man, you know what I'm saying, that he gotta tighten up. So boom, they go pull up on my door, I'm, I'm using the restroom already, they go pull up over there, they let bro know, hey bro, tighten up, get your shit together, whatever, woo, 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 woo. And he was like, all right, cuz, do, 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 boom, whatever. Two days later, this whole ass nigga do it again. <laughs> so I told my I told my homeboy, I said, look, bro, what he do? I'm finna I'm finna run him. I'm, I'm finna run him. <laughs> what do you do again? I'm finna, no, 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 I'm no, no, like, no. What so do? so this time, bro, I don't know, you know, I guess he had came up on a soup or something, you hear me? Yeah. He in the bed. As soon as he jumped up off the bed, hard ass soup crumbs hit me in my face, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm bottom bro. <laughs> Bro, this shit ain't funny, bro. This is on my mama, bro. I swear but to God, bro. But you bottom bro. bum, no. He I'm bottom bum, yeah. bro. You know, I'm, bro, my whole time I'm bottom bum. You know what I'm saying? I'm not no bottom bum restricted. I just was blessed to have the bottom bum. You know what I'm saying? Because, nigga, I was a big ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like niggas, if I, if I came up in the cell, nigga be like, say, bro, you can have the bottom bum. Like, hey, appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, bro, so he jumped up out the bed like it was cool. And then a whole bunch of soup crumbs hit me. I'm like, <laughs> Oh, bitch ass nigga, you hear me? So I'm, I dress up, it's child time. We get back from lunch. I tell my, my partner MJ, I'm like, look, homeboy, that's over with. I'm finna run this nigga, you know what I'm saying? So boom, he said, all right, that's a bit. So he gonna holler at uh, P. Shoe and uh, Percy, and he say, bro, my partner finna look at your partner, bro. So, okay, bet, that's a bit. So P. Shoe <clears throat> and 
MJ, my partner, they right there outside the outside our gate. And purses are ready in the house because we don't need all them. You know what I'm saying? We don't need everybody there. And this is going to take place, and we got it in. You know what I'm saying? So, boom, they pull up. You know, I, I'm already taking off my shirt, but I already know how to move in the cell because we do checks. And when we do checks, bro, we do them in the cell because it ain't for everybody. You feel me, bro? It ain't to put on no show. We ain't no showcase. You know what I'm saying? So we do our shit in secret. You feel me? So, boom, I already knew how to work around the toilet. So boom, he run up on me. As soon as he run up on me, cause he thinking my leg is gonna get caught on the toilet, I hit my shoulder on the wall, boom. And he ran right past me and I, mm, boom, dropped him on the bed and I let him get up. And then we start going, he grabbed me. So shit, fuck it, nigga, I wrestled too. So nigga, we start wrestling in that bitch, you feel me? And from there, he dazed me back. No bullshit, he dazed me back, but I got my shook that shit out. Boom, dropped him on the bed. Now this time when I dropped him on the bed, I went to swinging on him. And really that was a no-no, you know what I'm saying? Because he fell on the bed, you feel me, bro? We gotta let him get up. But you know, I'm still learning. As I'm going, I'm still learning, you feel me? So boom, <clears throat> boom, boom, I hit him twice. My homie's like, nah, bitch, stop that. Don't do that, we don't, we don't rock like that. Let him get back up. Yeah, Ferguson, you know they making yeah, yeah, get yeah, up. Yeah, 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 because they, shit, it could have went down with Percy and MJ, because MJ, he touched the yard with anybody. They know MJ. They know MJ was a damn fool. Yeah. MJ coming out of Fifth War, you know what I'm saying? Blast a lot. We rap a lot, niggas, you hear me? Shout out to, you know, the Godfather, man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, man, so they know he was square business, you feel me? And that happens. Me and my celly dab it up, and we went to doing our time. And from there, you know, that squashed whatever we had going on. Yo, he started like, cleaning after that. Started getting better, bro. Started getting better, and I started to understand them better. And we started telling stories and sharing stories with each other. And then one day, he's in the <laughs> cell with me. And my neighbor's banging on my wall. And he puts his mirror over there, and he's like, hey, Sally, can I holler? I mean, he said, hey, neighbor, can I holler at you? I'm like, what's up? But he's telling me in Spanish, bro, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, what's up? And you he's can like, speak hey. Spanish? No, I can understand it. Okay. I can't speak it, bro, but I can understand it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he started trying to offer me his hot pot and his fucking fan and his commissary. And I'm like, bro, what are you doing, bro? It's good. Because he had just got a letter that his wife, for 10 years that was holding it down, ran off with his best friend. And he had 99 years. Mm -hmm. He was never going home, bro. You feel me? So once... He tried to give me everything. I'm like, nah, bro, I'm good. Woo, woo, woo. Next thing you know, I fall back and I heard a thump. And I put my, you know, you're not supposed to look at nobody's house without banging or letting them know, but it came from over there like a real hard ass bang. Boom, I look over there and there's a sheet hanging up, you know, so when you use the restroom, you put a sheet up. <clears throat> bro, but I'm looking at the sheet and I'm looking down. I'm like, bro, it's a whole bunch of fucking blood coming from up under the sheet. And I'm like, man, what the fuck? And I'm telling SSI, say, man, I don't know what's going on, man, but go check on my neighbor, man. So he come up there with the broom and shit, and I said, man, check on my neighbor, bro. And he and, looked. And, and SSI, that's like a trustee? The, yeah, that's the trustee, that's the worker. coming to clean. That's yeah. the worker coming okay. to clean and shit, you know what I'm saying? So boom, he look in the cell, and all I heard him like, he screamed like a hoe. Ah! Boom, look out, law man, law man, law man. Suicide, suicide, suicide. The laws ran up there, boom. Man, they pulled my neighbor out on the stretcher, and I still remember my silly face to this day, bro. Like, he was shocked. He was scared, bro. He was crying. And it was like, homo, bro, all I got is eight years, man. I want to go home, bro. I want to go home. And right there, nigga, I felt him, bro. And ever since that day, bro, it's like his life changed, bro. And next thing you know, I started seeing a little brother go to church and everything, bro, like really getting active with God, you know? Certain things that you'll go through, bro, that you think you was built for, but you wasn't built for. I'm not built for it. I'm not gonna say I was gonna go to prison and this shit, I'm just built for this shit and it was destined for me. Nah, bro. I got there and there was sometimes I wanted to cry, my nigga, and I couldn't cry. Cause I knew if I cried, that was a sign of weakness, bro. You feel me? So I had to hold that shit in, nigga. When my cellar would go to the day room or whatever, I sit there and be just, just be talking to God, nigga. Just 
Like, Lord, what do I do now, man? Where do I go now, man? How you want me to hold it down, man? Woo, woo, woo. For real, bro, no bullshit, man. Cause, bro, we stayed in so much shit every day, bro. I never thought I was gonna make it home to my grandmother, <clears throat> dog. But that was my foundation. That was my rock, nigga. And it was like one of them things, you just ripping out your shirt, nigga. I'm making it home. Nigga got me fucked up, I'm making it home. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it was every day. Not just one day, every day, dog. It was some shit going on. I'm you Ferguson. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm Ferguson. Hey, real tone, it's some real money in the room.